Uh, the workshop was good or not? Always, uh, very good. always, yeah. Excellent. So that, top that top guy notch. was saying that was rubbish. <laughs> so it's uh, I don't know in what, in what on, to believe. Kick him on the way out, mate. Yeah, uh, I think he deserves it it's because just jealousy. he's That's messing is. with me in Facebook for a while. So I just kicked him in the balls. That's so. right, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> he's coming here, man. Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys, good morning, welcome to another video. Today I am in UK at Fish Cove Aquatics and um, me and Bobby, we're going to do a workshop um, in uh, 30 minutes. So people are just uh, arriving and then I will give you some insights of the shore, show you the place. Uh, the shop is already a little bit different from um, what it was before because they now are just putting some chairs as people sit down and enjoy the workshop. But um, let me show you some aquascapes, all the shops looks like in general, and also the parts, the background here, because it's quite, quite nice. So here is the main entrance of the shop. Uh, I like this traditional uh, part of it. We still have a little bit of this in Portugal, but, uh, but not with this architecture. And uh, this is, looks really, really nice and uh, also a little bit of natural environment over here a table maybe we can have something some drinks afterwards or uh, during the break and this is the shop here the main entrance it is bobby hello bobita Good morning. Bien? so Freezing. they already changed a little bit the entrance of the store i've been here yesterday Hi, Roman. Hello. How are you doing? He's from Prodibio, one of the sponsors of the event. And uh, so they took the counter. They took also some displays from the store just to manage some space for the people that is attending. And uh, let's take a look what they have here to sell. They have uh, really nice touch, really nice um, uh, artscape material. So uh, this is the first time that I am seeing something like this. You already have small branches, cut it off and put it in bags so you can just um, improve your layout. Also, a nice piece of wood. You have uh, rocks, also bed aquarium tanks that are also one of the sponsors of this event. Uh, more we have here, some GBL stuff, uh, Wabi Kuzas from Beta. Of course, plants from Marco Flora. <laughs> This is also one of the sponsors of the event. Uh, without them, it was not uh, was not possible for me to be here. And some bonsai, if you want to build up um, some nice structures and treescapes, you know what I mean, right? So, walking around, we have some produce stuff, more artscape material. I think this is produce soil, or something like that. Uh, here he is, uh, artscape. They have uh, some shelves with uh, material put inside. It is Duncan, the owner of the shop. So what are you expecting for this event? Uh, we've got 22 people coming. Yeah. This event. yeah. So it's uh, something big for UK or just a normal it's really average? Big for us. It's nice. not something that's usually done. Our eight months of planning it's taken to do this, to get you <laughs> in and to get Balby in. No, that is nice. Yes, good. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. Yes. So we're going to scape more or less side by side, right? Yes, yep. So you've got the Better Line 90 that you're doing. Mm -hmm. oh, and then you've got uh, the cube that Balby will be doing as well. Oh, that looks great. So uh, we're going to start more or less in 15 minutes or at yeah, least when the people just uh, arrive, right? Yep. So this is one of the displays of the store. There's also some products uh, here from Prodibio. Also some Seacom products, ADA stuff. Uh, there is uh, more tools around, but let's take a look to the display we have over here. This is uh, from um, the line from George, yeah, the yeah. Aquascaper tank. Yeah, the Aquascaper 600. But this is a very different measure that usually we see it because this is a false cube. Yeah. This is 60. Yes. Uh, 60 by 60 yeah. by 25, 30. Yeah. Oh, it's quite nice. This is a really nice measure. Uh, mostly if you are looking for depth on the tank you can create something really really nice on it 
maybe if we still have the time, uh, we can include on a workshop some small improvements in this tank. I think we'll not mind just we just repair and fix a few things and make this tank look even better. It's not looking uh, bad, but with small adjustments, we can make it even look better. So let's move on. Um, you have more stuff here. So it means uh, the shop is not really, really big, but I must say that uh, all the things are placed are quite nice. So if you are looking for products for aquascaping, you can find them here. Um, it's a very cozy shop. Uh, I don't know where the tanks were going to be placed afterwards. Maybe uh, during the workshop, uh, we can record um, a few parts more and then show the progress of the tanks because I'm not recording this live. Uh, record parts of the, um, the tanks, um, the stages. And then uh, when we flood it, maybe we can just do a final video, but I don't promise because uh, we need to leave around 4, 4.30 to the airport. We have a late flight uh, this uh, evening. So we are getting back to Portugal and Spain. And this is the livestock. They have used uh, also some plants to create the, the small tanks or the tanks where they have the fish for sale. Um, they look very, very clean, very nice ones. There is some better, better, when I mean better, better fish, not the better tanks. Over here, there is the more soil from Prodivio. Uh, also, you have here a lot of aquatic plants. As you can see, they are adapting to the submerged uh, form. I think uh, it's still running some CO2. The light seems to be quite good for the, this display. Another show tank over here is uh, with Nicandro Monte Carlo. Uh, I think this is um, Christmas moss. This is, I think, some Valisneria spiralis, or um, or maybe could be uh, the, this one is um, Echinodorus um, Vesuvius. But I will ask him later. Uh, and some cryptocurrencies in the back. This is a tank that we see that is creating a lot of depth on it. So we have here some more products from the main sponsor, from one of the main sponsors of the event, Prodivio. More artscape stuff. This is quite nice. It's a plastic plant. I think it's still some market here in UK. Uh, but uh, it's something that I don't use. Maybe one day I will try to make something with it and try to make it cool. So here we have some better tanks too, some oasis filtration, uh, water test kits, um, two nice pieces of wood, it's vine. So I was quite attempt to, to use these ones in the workshop because they look quite cool. But um, maybe I'm a little bit afraid for, because of the tannins what they can release. So I'm going to get sticked for the traditional driftwood, a lot of plants, and try to make it uh, more nice as possible for the people that are attending. Uh, usually what I do is uh, I prepare my workshops based on the people that are attending and seeing what they are looking for, what they want to see. And uh, maybe for this kind of workshop, I will try to focus more on them and then uh, give a little bit of, uh, my signature on, on the displays, but uh, mostly try to uh, help on their doubts and what they are expecting from the workshop. I don't bring any workshop by books, so I need to improvise, I'll improvise all the time, and this will not be any exception. We need to go out, and uh, people are coming right now, so I will take the time now to take a coffee. Yeah? So yeah, we go in for the coffee yes. and um, I will try to keep you guys updated um, as soon as we start doing the workshop and also showing some progress of the tanks. See you in a minute. Always go in the workshop. Perfect. Oh, terrible. No, good. Yeah. Terribly. Rubbish. Yeah, it's okay. So, yeah, it's rubbish. So maybe next time I need to do something better. 
This is a 905050 better tank, a better system. You can see here by the logo. I have used here in this tank, uh, uh, I think this is river wood. I call it also um, driftwood, some landscape rocks. I've used also some uh, expansion foam, just all the pieces down. There is also some uh, scaping twigs. Uh, this is was used only for the details. The soil used in this tank is Prudivio. And let's take a look from the top. The light that will stay in this tank is a twin star light. I think this model is uh, yeah, it's a 900S, maybe SA. I don't know if we can see it. And uh, here it is, look, um, the big slope on the back. Let's move and see from this side. Now I'm going to plant here a lot of uh, stem plants, a uh, lot of uh, moss, and then some anubias, some rhizome plants on the front. I will use also some sand. It will be, as you guys know, the last thing to pour in the tank. I don't like to use the sand before. Uh, those pieces of wood, they were glued, uh, super glue. But uh, I hold down the wood uh, to the rocks with expansion foam. So let's take a look to the tank from here. Uh, I will come back when the tank will be uh, full of plants that are all of here. It's sponsored by Aquaflora. I will unpack them, prepare them and put them in the tank. The workshop at uh, Fish Cover Aquatics is, is done. So. People are just looking to the tank. They are also buying a few uh, artscape and plants just to bring it home. Uh, it's quite good when you feel that people is inspired by the um, things that you have done. And um, let's take a look to the result of the aquascape. Um, I have one tank, a 90 centimeters tank from Bed Aquarius, um, powered with, of course, with aquaflora plants. And also Balbi's tank, that is a cube, is a 50, 50, 50. And, um, it's also powered by Aquaflora, Prudivio, uh, Oasi, and Twinstar, if I'm not mistaken. So let's take a look at the tanks. Uh, we just finished for about one hour, and um, quite soon we are leaving and coming back home. So let's come with me, I will show you the tanks. Yeah, we do, yeah. So, what do you guys thought or think about the workshop? It did well, no? Yeah. Yeah, that guy, the big guy, uh, doesn't know nothing about this, right? No, he's rubbish. He's rubbish. rubbish. Yeah, yeah. He's rubbish. They did already two, three mistakes. Uh, so yeah, too, much, too much foam. Yeah, too much, yeah, foam. Too much yeah, foam, foam on foam. it. Yeah, still. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so let's let's take the look. But uh, meanwhile, guys, uh, the workshop was good or not? Always, uh, always. Yeah. Good. That, top, top that guy was saying that was rubbish. <laughs> so it's uh, I don't know in, wha in what to believe. Kick him on the way out, mate. Yeah, I, I think he deserves it it's because just jealousy. he's That's messing it with me in Facebook <laughs> for a while. So I just kicked him in the ball. That's so. right, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> he's coming here, that, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take the look the tank and see uh, what I, I did over here. So mainly the idea was just playing around with the driftwood. Uh, don't gonna ask me just to build up something because um, people see it over here but uh, it's not kind of material that they like to use so often and um, I already showed you the artscape so let's take a look uh, how the tank looks like planted so it's a lot of uh, rhizome plants some Anubias, Anubias Nanamini uh, and then uh, a little bit of uh, path uh, that will be full planted with the Monte Carlo also, we have some Cryptocorin Parva, Cryptocorin Flamingo, uh, Petitchi, and then Petitchi Pink, and then Flamingo again. We have a little bit of foreground plants on the background that will per uh, do the perfect blend with the stem plants. Uh, so in the back, we have here uh, Rutala Hara with Ludwigi Arquata. Uh, in this side, we have Ludwigia uh, Arquata, also on Rotala orange juice. Ceratopolis atraliticoides, you have some um, uh, Microsorum drops in love. And uh, let's look behind. So, what do you have more over here? 
there's still crypto coins on the corners so yeah basically is this so some christmas moss just for some details i have used also some uh this is caping twigs just to give a little more details for the artscape uh some gravel from uh, prodivio is some sand i think is from unipack so let's take a look to the tank so this is a 90 50 50 so a closer view from the corner from the side That's why I've been like raving about it. Since. Ah. In the beginning, all the people that were asking about the leaf. Yeah. 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 They are for selfie mode. <laughs> so the guys. And this is it. Uh, oh no, I was missing something. Let me show Bob this tank. Uh, yeah. What a what a friend I am. So she escaped. This is a better tank. 50 50 50. Uh, we can see that she used uh, dragon stone. You have uh, uh, Leo Caris Minima, some Cryptocurrent Willisi, Anubius Nana Mini, uh, Microsorum Trident. Um, there is also some Ludwigia Arquata on the background, Junko's Repens, uh, Bobitis Deformis. She says that it's a low demanded planet aquarium. So I think it ended quite, quite nice. You see, it's uh, viewed from the three sides. But mainly this the one this matter because it's from the counter. It looks quite quite nice. So it it is. So it's time just to pack my stuff and come back to Portugal. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did so, I'm not subscribed to my channel yet, so please subscribe. If you have any doubts, just place in the comments below and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.